Hi everyone, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel. So I started to film this whole unboxing thing and um, was so <laughs> was so horrified by the quality of the wrapping by the item that I'm going to show you that I actually had to stop because I had to. It, I can't even. So um, I'll kind of start over. And so it, it it's an unbox. It's a more of a reveal, I guess, at this point um, because. The unboxing was literally such an anticlimactic experience. Um, the video, I just, I paused and looked at you guys and you deserve better than what it just happened. So I'm starting over. Um, okay, so today I um, went in to the West End to do some shopping with a friend. Um, shout out to Harriet, hello. Woo, high hands, woo. Um, <laughs> and we had such a nice time. She had invited me along, actually. She needed to go to Chanel and pick up some makeup, actually. She had a voucher, and or like a gift card. And so she said, do you want to come with? And I said, heck yeah. And it was a perfect opportunity to pick up what I wanted to pick up. Um, this item has been in and out of my um, Burberry shopping cart, gosh, 15, 20 times a day for the last month. It's ridiculous. Um, and there's just no excuse for this kind of behavior. It's ridiculous. So anyway, um... Really quickly, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I had a collection of shopping bags. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to sort yourself out. Just get right with Jesus. Follow Robin A. Go find me. I'll wait. Okay, good. And um, and so, really quickly, disclosure. The Louis Vuitton bags, only one of them was an actual purchase. It is for a gift. It is for Trina Levers. Um, she is a booger butt, already knows what it is because girlfriend has no patience at all when it comes to purchasing things for herself. And she's right now, she's laughing because she knows. She's watching this and she is absolutely giggling like a mad fool because she knows I'm right. She knows I'm right. And B. Rachel, she's laughing too because she knows I'm right too. Because Trina, you gotta learn to just settle down and give a person a chance to buy you a gift. I had to text her a picture and be like, please don't buy that because hi, here. So anyway, Merry Christmas but I'll let her do an actual unboxing of it. Um, she'll get it fairly quickly and she can unbox it whenever she wants. Christmas can come in November, like, you know, why not? So anyway, um, I'm gonna start with the bag though from Louis Vuitton and what was in it and really quickly, I normally um, would go see Gaz, Gaz Juan. He has not been there the last couple times I've been there um, and I like to think he's not avoiding me. Um, <laughs> and I have actually been served several times um, by Daniel, who is, I just, I'm so, I'm enchanted. I just, I adore him. He is the sweetest guy. And today I walked in and he saw me, they were having like their staff walk through and he saw me and he recognized, and his face lit up and it was, I swear we wanted to like go running across the store to each other. Um, or that's how I feel on my end. He's probably like, oh dear God, she's here, the crazy lady. Um, so anyway, um, Picked up my item. He spent so much time with me, making sure everything was just just right with what I had ordered, Trina. Um, and I asked him, and I said to him, Daniel, if you don't, if you can't, if it puts you in any, it, please just say no. Um, but I have somehow misplaced, or somebody has taken, the little pouch that my Stephen Sprouse shawl, the leopard shawl, comes in. If you guys have a spare one, could could I please? Um, and if not, is there any way that I could snag a dust bag? Because anybody who has one of those shawls or has that type of shawl, the really loose weave silk kind, um, they get so snagged so easily. And mine legit looks like a wild, I mean, it a wild animal. It is so, it is so, so thrashed. It's almost embarrassing to wear in public, but I, I still wear it because it's so soft so comfortable and it's light but warm so it's one of those where you don't feel like you're wearing something that's stacked up to here but it's still really warm so anyway okay so not only did he say let me go see what I can do not only did he bring it out in a bag for me oh no home skillet goes back and puts it in a little drawer box for me in the new Christmas wrapping with are you kidding me with this gift tag I can't eat, I just can't. I almost don't even wanna like bend it because I don't wanna mess it up. But this, hi, cutest thing I've ever seen. And it's like, it's like shiny, you can't really tell, but it's a shiny gold. It's, there you go, you can kinda of see it. Anyway, and out he brings one of the little shawl bags. And let me tell you, 
that's, th this is, this is impressive. Not because he brought it in a box, not because, because I didn't expect this. He could have just handed it to me and I'd have been like, oh my gosh, thank you. But he really went the extra, like this isn't even a mile, I'm sorry, this is like five miles. And that's why when people say, oh my gosh, how can you justify spending that much on a handbag or whatever? Because the service that I get there is so just fitting <laughs> with the, the quality, it, it, the whole experience from the time I walk through the door until the time I get home and unwrap the item that I've purchased, which the attention to detail in the wrapping is so there, that's what makes it worth it to me. I pay for more than just the bag. I pay for the experience. And some people would say that makes me a sucker and that's fine, but I, I enjoy it every single time I go in there. It's, it's an event and I love that. So Daniel, you're not watching, but if you're watching, thank you so much. Louis Vuitton, if you're watching, like Daniel, the man. So there you go. That's what I got from Louis Vuitton. But yeah, in my little bag, second stop we made was over to Chanel where my friend picked up some absolutely beautiful lipsticks. We were helped by both Sebastian and Stephanie. Um, Sebastian it will no longer be there by the time um, any of you got down there, but Stephanie is lovely and fantastic and very, very sweet and gave me some samples of some perfume which I passed on to my friend Harriet's daughter. Um, and I just picked up a lipstick and a lip liner. I picked up the Rouge Coco Shine in Boy, and I picked up the um, Lip Pencil in Sienna. And anybody who knows these two colors was probably thinking, that's a really light lipstick for that lip pencil, but I basically scribble in the lip pencil, go over it with this, and it actually looks really nice. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing Tom Ford Casablanca. Yeah. Anyway, so those are those items. Which leads me to what I actually went in to get, which is from Burberry, and um, two quick backstories. So I have wanted a Burberry, a, I have wanted a specific type of Burberry scarf or shawl for quite a while, but the dark, like the trench check and the house check, they don't really suit me because the color, the brown, the tan is, um, well, it just makes me look ill. It's not a good color on me. Like it looks fantastic on Trina and it makes me look legitimately like monkey poo just flung all over the zoo. It's bad, 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 bad. So um, I didn't realize that they do like an ivory and then I was watching a video by Have Louie Will Travel and I'll link to her below. Sorry, here it is. Um, and my leg's falling asleep. That's why I keep moving, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a day. I'm, I'm tired. I'm wiped. That's why I look like recycled mommy and it's nighttime which is why the lighting is bad so I apologize anyway so I was watching this video became obsessed with this wool scarf that have Louis will travel had came back to Facebook where Trina B and I are constantly I mean all day long every day messaging and obsessing over handbags and discussing this that and the other and um and we all, you know, and Trina's like, oh, I know that one. I've been looking at that one, too. She ended up ordering it. If you watch her, you've seen her unboxing. Um, chances are, if you watch me, you came from her, over from her. So <laughs> I'm sure you've seen that unboxing. Um, I'm pretty sure um, B. Rachel has ordered it. Different colorway, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, it could be this one. Who knows? Um, and if she did, then that means that we have at least three of the same <laughs> three of the same scarves or shawls. Um, so anyway, but really quick, back to my experience at Burberry. They're nice enough. It, it's very bland. They're, you know, they're not overly, they're not unwelcoming. They just don't go out of their way. I will say that. Um, so finally got him to locate the scarf I wanted. Their stock levels, stock levels showed 33 and he just was like, I don't know which one you mean. And that's worrying. Like, know your stock, know your, know your items. Um, and I asked to have it boxed and he said, Ooh, gosh, that's going to be a problem. We don't really have boxes for these anymore. Okay. You guys sell ready to wear, go find me a box. And I said, you know, and one of the reasons that I opted to come into the store rather than buy it online is because, um, and Burberry, if you guys are listening to this, because you know, I know you guys are watching my videos, um, sort yourselves out. If you buy online, a scarf they don't come with a dust bag and I'm sorry that's that's dude really 
You want me to spend how much on a, on a scarf and you're not gonna supply me a delicate scarf and you're not gonna supply me something to protect it, to keep it looking its best? Rude. So um, apparently though, uh, B found out that if you go into the shop that you can get a dust bag. So I, you know, thought I live here, I'll just, I'll run in and you know, and then Harriet asked me to go in and it all just seemed to just be fate. And so I went in and I said, okay, and I'd also like um, either a dust bag, please, or a pouch. And I'm not, I'm not rude or, um, or demanding or, you know, how do I even say this? I'm not rude when I ask, you know, I, I'm always very much like, you know, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you know, I would really appreciate because, and he's like, oh gosh, let me see what I can find. And I just feel like saying, what were you gonna do? Just shove this in a in like a Tesco bag and send me on my way? Like, find a box. What if it was a gift? Put some tissue in there. Find a dust bag that you probably have for small leather goods. Sort it out. Like, you know, I'm spending some money with you. You didn't have to work for this. I came in and told you what I wanted. Welcome to your commission. Like, you know, so anyway, I just got it home. And the box that he sent it home with me in is like this really weird collapsible box with all kinds of like oily fingerprints and see it's like falling it's okay and these edges are sharp and this is where I was just like I you know hello he had put the scarf inside and then laid the dust bag on top for real so whatever, anyway, doesn't make me love the scarf any less. So here it is. Oh, here's the little dust bag that it came with. Oh, sorry. Hello. So this is the, oh, 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 oh. And then this is why, this, this part was so bad and I didn't even pull this out, but when, this is what I opened up to. Anyway, um, I don't know what this is exactly called. I'll link to it below, but it's like the giant wool square something check. There's Everything has like check and wool and square like in the name of the thing. And there are like 10 scarves that have the same name. The whole thing, it's funny. Their, their website cracks me up. So anyway, I got it in the ivory check. And I'll, I'll kind of hold it up like this. So. It's got the red stripe, I hope you can hear me. <laughs> and it's just, it's ivory, gray, black where it intersects, or like a really dark gray. And then this just beautiful, kind of like a claret color. And and I love it. And it's, 100% ultra, 100%, I am a mess today, you guys, I'm sorry. 100% ultra fine merino, I think. I'm sure it tells me somewhere. Yes, 100% extra fine merino wool, super fine. Um, and it is, I mean, you guys, it. if you've ever felt wool and it's got that scratchy feeling, I mean, I would wrap a I would wrap a naked baby in this to give you an idea how soft this is. This is so so soft. There's no prickly feeling at all from um, like the wool. So it's just it's really nice, and it is so warm and so scrummy and soft. And I like um, I prefer these kind. You know the the kind of the cowboy wrap. And I'm sorry, you guys can't really. Anyway, so that's my unboxing for the day. And I will have another one coming up soon. Um, if not an unboxing, a reveal. I'm going to keep that one a secret. Um, so that was my experience today. And I will say um, that the difference in experience between both Chanel and Louis Vuitton versus, sorry, Louis Vuitton versus Burberry was um, the details. The details of Chanel and Louis Vuitton in the way they wrap, in the way they present to you is leaps and bounds above Burberry. Um, I don't know if it's a French thing versus like an old British brand, but what I can tell you is the experience, here's what it is, the experience of buying my scarf 
was not as special as receiving a free replacement dust bag from Louis Vuitton. And that, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, and I'm rambling and you guys are like, get on with it, Robin. Wrap, wrap it up, wrap it up. So I'm going to wrap it up and I apologize. But, um, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching and, um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Take care. Bye.